Hi everyone, I'm with Brian J, and today we're going to be talking about his newest single, Babe. Hi Brian, how are you? Hi, I'm good yourself. Good, great. So your new single just came out, Fame, which is absolutely phenomenal. I'm talking cover photo, everything, the album. We're so excited. I noticed that you have a Prince necklace, and Prince is kind of plastered everywhere for the press of this. What is the meaning behind Prince? Who is Prince? Well, Prince, I would like to say, is basically like my kind of persona that I'm trying to build. Um, I would never claim to be, you know, the great prince that we all know and love, but I just feel like I'm the prince of music that's coming up, and I feel that really resonating with what I'm trying to do, and I would just like to be referred as the prince who's coming and has arrived, basically. Absolutely. That is definitely the branding that we're seeing, and you're pushing out. As far as... He's the glitz. He's yes, the glam. the glam. All of it. And we see that in the music video. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about the inspiration for the music video? For the music video, I just, I'm very honed into like very Y2K, like bringing music back towards like that nostalgic era and really just like the 90s R&B and kind of feel that we all like love and can just jam out to. And it's a song and a kind of genre of music that Basically, you never get tired of it. Like, it lives timelessly and it still sounds the same and the best the way that it sounded the first time, even after multiple generations. So I really honed in on that kind of vibe and, of course, like, the whole fame aesthetic of it all, given the song. Um, I just re really looked towards some of the inspiration behind it was Normani's motivation video, yes, which you can yes. kind of see a lot of inspo from it, and a little Victoria Monet on my mama on my hood for the dance scenes and all that stuff. And just kind of exploring the luxury of fame and the Hollywood of it all and the glitz and the glamour and yeah. I love the idea of bringing back those 90s pop stars but bringing it into A what's, current time. what's current but yeah. still bringing back some nostalgia. Absolutely. So how important was it for you to mention those artists that you did in, in the breakdown that we that we get to hear, which is an amazing breakdown, might I add. <laughs> Ariana, Amala, and Abel. Can, can, keep this we, yes, can we get a little bit more of the backstory of why that yes. why those artists? Um so basically when I was writing this, I really knew that I wanted to at some point address the people who do inspire my music, my passion, my creativity, basically the people who have helped not necessarily raise me, but shape what I wanted to do and what I was influenced by. So obviously, no one loved Ariana Grande since the very start and her music, her whole vibe, how beautiful and gorgeous she was. And then of course, Abel himself, like the king, I love him so much. And just a Doja Cat, Amala herself is absolutely <laughs> killing it right now. Absolutely. And I would like to say she's a major, major, major core inspiration for me and influenced a lot of what I do and a lot of what I wear. So just giving a shout out to the people who helped me want to do this and something that I can look up to and inspire is just like, hey guys, you guys are killing your shit. You guys are influencing me. Come see <laughs> yeah. my shit because I'm coming. And I can't wait to meet them. Yes, absolutely. We're waiting for that. We are definitely absolutely. waiting for that collab, especially with Doja. I see that she is a huge inspiration for you, yes. especially in the music video. Aesthetically, I definitely can see that. What was the inspiration for this song? Would you say Doja had any influence in that or any other influence? Just what's the major inspiration for Fame? Doja played a huge inspiration, 100%, because... This first single, I didn't necessarily know what I wanted it to be. I played a lot with the with a lot of different vibes and different like sounds. I knew that I wanted to tap into like a Y2K nostalgic kind of aesthetic and overall sound. I just didn't necessarily know what it would be, so I played around with like a, a couple beats. They were very R and B heavily inspired, and then Doja Cat released "Paint the Town Red." <laughs> And yeah. this bitch said, bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. And I was like, period. Exactly how I felt. And I was like, yo, hold up. What if the first thing was just basically me just saying, yo, this is what I want. This is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. All on the floor. This is for you. But it's not what I'm capable of doing just yet. I understand that this first single is just a little, it's a little taster for everyone. It's a little taster of like what I want to do and what I'm about. Although, so, like sound-wise and overall, 
it won't be something that you'll continue to hear. It was just a little tester and I do plan on creating a lot of different music in terms of genres. I want to play around with Latin music to give roots and a shout out to being a byproduct of two cultures, Mexican and Black. So I do plan on tapping into Mexican music and Latin music, but I also want to cater to what we love and kind of more of the culture, which is R&B and pop. So just building up to infusing both my cultures and both the products of what I am is definitely what I'm going to be doing. But this first single was just a little taste for you guys to know, I mean what I say. Ooh, ooh I'm going to be famous. <laughs> yes. And yeah. We love a live version, <laughs> of course. So this is the beginning. This is the... The, you're being born, Prince. Why music and why now? I think that this just, they came, this is coming at a time that for me as I'm growing up and I'm learning and I'm accepting myself and loving who I am as a person, I'm just learning to be okay with who I am and owning it and saying we're going to do this now. A lot of times when I was growing up, people ask you, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to do? And as a young person, anyone ask you, like, what do you want to do? And you're like, well, I just want to be famous. <laughs> I just want to be a pop star. I just want to live that life. And they're going to look at you like, okay, good luck. Or like, oh, you're crazy. You're like, okay, well, if you can sing, go and sing for me. Like that kind of like you're put on the spot. Yeah. It's just an overall, overall feeling that I wasn't at that time able to like own and accept. But as I'm growing up, as I'm exploring who I am, as like I'm exploring my creativity, I'm just like, you know what, this is what I've wanted since I was 10 years old, like I mentioned in the song. Mm -hmm. um, it's time for me to be about it. I would tell my friends, like, I want to be in the t entertainment business, but no one knew for so long what that meant. They're like, okay, yeah. what do you want to be? You want to be an actor? You want to be a singer? You want to be a mom? What was it? But I was just always so shy because I was shy about my voice. I was shy about my actual product and just kind of owning it has just helped me just release the product and I'm really here to do it and take it for what it is y'all you came out the bat swinging <laughs> I mean like the production of everything I mean not many artists especially in the beginning come out like that so to have your single as amazing as it is as well as all the production behind it the music video and everything it, I'm just so excited to hear more. What can we expect next from you? Um, well, you can expect a single coming up very soon. I am already working on it. And I kind of wanted to give you guys something. Like, I feel like I'm feeding everyone. Mm -hmm. And everyone's hungry right now. Like, okay, we want more, we want more. And you're going to get more. And it's going to be a little different than this first song, which is fine. Like I said, don't keep me in a box because I have a lot of wiggle room to play around. <laughs> and I will be playing around with it a lot. Well, Brian, this was such an amazing experience. I was so happy to hear exactly what it is. It was a mastermind behind your creation, and I cannot wait to hear more. Thank you, everyone. Fame is out now, so be sure to listen on all platforms. Go get it! Bye, guys. <laughs>